Welcome to a new episode of Esto, SPGA Tour Latino America. Today, we will introduce to you the Total Play Cup, a new season-long competition created to measure PGA Tour Latino America players' success throughout the year. We create a season-long points race to award the season winner. With the start of the 2021-22 season just around the corner, we will learn about the upcoming qualifying tournaments. And we will also reveal the full 12 tournaments on the schedule. All this and more up next. as PGA Tour Latino America. Prior to each season, PGA Tour Latino America plays several qualifying tournaments to help complete its membership roster. For the upcoming 2021-22 season, the tour has scheduled four qualifiers to be played in the United States, Mexico, and Argentina this coming November. I've been working hard and I just got through first stage of Q school last week, so um, I'm just kind of coming down here right now to keep playing in events and try to keep my game fresh. Starting the first week of November, at least 40 tour cards will be awarded at each of the qualifying sites. The players claiming cards will be taking their first steps towards the PGA Tour. The whole experience was, was great. I, uh, I didn't really know what to expect with my first Q school, so I kind of went down there with no expectations and uh, glad to come away with something and then glad to come down here and you know finally get my first start on the tour and hopefully progress from there. From our recent class of graduates to the Corn Ferry Tour, players such as Alvaro Ortiz and Brandon Matthews succeeded at the qualifying events in order to join PJ Tour Latino America. Lost everything after the 2018 year and had to go back to Q School for this tour. Um, but I'm so grateful that happened because I learned a lot of things about managing my tournaments and, and how much work I need to put in. Each of the qualifying tournaments is 72 holes with no cut and a field limited to 120 players. The tournament medalist will earn exempt status for the entire season and will be eligible to play in every event. The players finishing in positions 2 through 12 after four rounds receive exempt status and qualify to play in a minimum of half the regular season tournaments. Additional tournament starts are acquired based on early season performance. Finally, those finishing numbers 13 through 40 and ties receive conditional tour status. Their performance at the beginning of the season will be critical for them to improve their status for the second half of the year. Here are the four qualifying tournament dates and venues for the upcoming season. A 2020-21 season that featured 46 tournaments was finally completed by the Corn Ferry Tour this past September, with 50 players moving up to the PGA Tour. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glass to the newest members of the PGA Tour. The select group of new PGA Tour members included five PGA Tour Latino America alums, with four of them securing their spots through the regular season's top 25, and one who made it through during the Corn Ferry Tour Finals. Congratulations, guys. Welcome to the PGA Tour. Look forward to seeing you here in a year. The only Latin American player among them was Chile's Mito Pereira, who had a dream season as he collected three Corn Ferry Tour victories to earn an early promotion to the PGA Tour in June. Ganar tres veces, casi que no está en, en mi mente, pero pero con todo el trabajo creo que todas las cosas se pueden y ahora estoy aquí en el PGA Tour tratando de hacer lo mismo, eh, tratando de no cambiar nada, sino que seguir como, como lo he venido haciendo y tratar de disfrutar también este momento que claramente eh, está siendo el mejor momento de mi carrera. 
Pereira became only the 12th player to win three times during the course of a season on the Corn Ferry Tour. Such an accomplishment secured him the much coveted early promotion to the PGA Tour. The 26-year-old from Santiago, Chile, won the Country Club de Bogota Championship, the Rex Hospital Open, and the BMW Charity Pro-Am, the last two coming in consecutive weeks at the start of this past June. The objective of these six weeks that I'm going to play this season in the PGA Tour is a little bit more to adapt, to feel comfortable, to feel as comfortable as I was doing in the Conferry, so... La meta es un poco más mental y, y, y tratar de, de estar lo mejor posible para la próxima temporada. Adjusting to life on the PGA Tour with a trio of top tens at the end of the 2020-21 season, Pereira kept his momentum going with a third place finish to start the 2021-22 season at the Fortinet Championship this past month. Pereira spent two full seasons on PGA Tour Latino America, making 43 career starts and collecting a victory at the 2016 Roberto de Vicenzo Punta del Este Open in Uruguay. He's number one on the points list and he is headed back to the PGA Tour. Welcome, Steven Yeager. With six Corn Ferry Tour wins, Steven Yeager is comfortably our winningest alum at the next level. This past season, he won twice, claiming the Albertsons Boise Open and the Emerald Coast Classic to finish first among the 25. Anytime you win, you know, it's a, it's a great feeling on any tour, even, you know, mini tour, you kind of get started and get your feet wet and um, you just want to kind of get to the next level, you know, go out on Corn Ferry and, and win here. And uh, obviously the next goal is, uh, is the win on the PGA Tour. So that's kind of the mindset going forward. The German player flirted with the three-win promotion several times late in the season, as he recorded three runner-ups on his way to securing PGA Tour status for the third time in his career. You know, when I did get my card in 17, it was more like, you know, I won twice, but didn't really play that good for the rest of the year. That's why I didn't do what I wanted, uh, what I set out to, be, to do on the PGA Tour those two years. And it's great, you know, that, that I've done well on the Corn Ferry over the last couple of years, but my goals are definitely higher and they're definitely um, to win multiple, multiple times on the PGA Tour. The 33-year-old spent two full seasons on the PGA Tour in 2018 and 2019 with a record of nine top 25s and 62 starts. He knows what to expect on his return to the highest level. As a PGA Tour Latino America member, Jaeger recorded two top 10s, making the cut in eight of his 16 starts between 2013 and 2016. After the break, we will learn more about our alums moving up from the Corn Ferry Tour to the PGA Tour and Petey Borja gives us a few tips to improve our putting grip in Golf 101. All this and more when Esto as PGA Tour Latino America returns. as BJ Tour Latino America. After finishing the 2019 season ranked third on PGA Tour Latino America, Jared Wolf strengthened his Corn Ferry Tour status early in 2020 with a four-stroke victory at the Bahamas Great Abaco Classic at Bahamar, the second event of what turned out to be a 46 tournament season spread over two years. Eight months after that win, he claimed the Wichita Open and then added five other top 10 finishes to cement his place inside the group of players headed to the PGA Tour. A lifelong dream for the 33-year-old veteran. Goals this uh, upcoming season are to, to try to obviously be in a position to win as much as I can. Love to win an event. Um, love to play on, you know, Ryder Cup or uh, President's Cup team or something like that. You know, those, those kind of team things are something that we don't get to do and that, that's you know, obviously competing in majors. When the COVID-19 pandemic put the Corn Ferry Tour season on hold early in 2020, 
Wolf had to figure out a way to earn some income. A job at the medical supply company owned by a friend allowed him to do just that. While selling and delivering medicines, Wolf kept himself busy. However, he never lost sight of his ultimate goal of moving up to the PGA Tour. I graduated college in 2010 uh, from Murray State, and, and we didn't have you know, PGA Tour Latin America or PGA Tour Canada to go to to feed into the Corn Ferry. So I, I spent most of my year, first four years playing mini tour events, playing down in um, Myrtle Beach, playing in, the, in a winter series down there, kind of learning how to, how to play pro golf, what it was like. Things clicked for Wolf on PGA Tour Latino America, where he had a victory tournament in each of his three seasons, winning the 2017 BMW Jamaica Classic, the 2018 Volvo Chile Open, and the 2019 Buena Aventura Classic in Panama. Good players are gonna make it, just a matter of time. We've got guys in this top 25 who are 23 years old, and you've got myself and David Skins who are um, you know, low to mid 30s that are getting in. So it's something that if you're good enough, you're eventually gonna make it. Austin Smotherman earned his PGA Tour card as the last player inside the top 25 at the end of the Corn Ferry Tour regular season. PGA Tour member, how does that sound? Austin Smotherman. The Californian started contending for a PGA Tour card with a win at the Simmons Bank Open for the Snedeker Foundation this past May in Nashville. Following an opening 65 with a trio of 69s, he went on to win by three shots to claim one of the coolest trophies in golf. In 41 starts throughout the 2020-21 season, Smotherman recorded three top tens to join former SMU teammates Harry Higgs and Bryson DeChambeau on the PGA Tour. And here we are talking at the end of it, um, playing the second finals event, to, uh, and we have our PGA Tour card. The 27-year-old played two full seasons on PGA Tour Latino America in 2017 and 2018, making 14 starts and recording three top 10 finishes during his first year on tour. Spent two years on PGA Tour Latin America with a teammate of mine, Harry Higgs, and so we traveled and played most of that season, uh, winning my second season the 59th Mexican Open at Tijuana Country Club, uh, which kind of kept me inside the top five the whole year to graduate to the Corn Ferry Tour. In Tijuana, Smotherman sealed the deal with a final round of 65 for a four-shot victory over Mexico's own Juan Pablo Hernandez. As far as playing goals, I definitely, uh, top of the list is to win on the PGA Tour. The last alum to secure PGA Tour status through the Corn Ferry Tour was Bronson Vergoon. After finishing the PGA Tour season outside the top 125, the Texas native got his card back with a tie for second at the Nationwide Children's Hospital Championship, the second event of the Corn Ferry Tour Finals. I put myself in that position and I had to keep playing because I was outside the top 150 which is the first time that I've ever had that on tour, so um, but glad to be back. Playing his fifth full season on the PGA Tour, in 2020-21, Burgoon only recorded three top 25 finishes in 26 starts to finish 158th on the FedEx Cup standings. As a PGA Tour Latino America member, the Texas A&M alum made 21 career starts, finishing the 2013 season ranked seventh on the order of merit. The Latino America Tour, it was probably the best decision I ever made in my life, to be honest with you. It wasn't easy. I mean, going down there and not being able to speak language is really difficult. But they've done such an incredible job with that tour. You know, playing on the mini tours, yeah, I won a couple times, and it's like, what's that even do? It does nothing for you. And, you know, you have a couple good tournaments down there. You know, I got to the final stage of Q School, and uh, so it gives you a year-long opportunity to kind of enhance the following year. And uh, I was, you know, just to go down there and see the different cultures too. And the food was fantastic. Golf courses were awesome. Uh, weather was pretty much spectacular. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't have changed that for the world. Hi, my name is Petey Borja, and this is Golf 101. In this segment of Golf 101, we're gonna give you a putting tip. 
And my tip for the day is going to be grip pressure. It is very important to being a consistent and good putter. What I try to work on is maintaining my grip pressure throughout my stroke. You never want to get too light because then you have a tendency to squeeze or you never want to hold it too firm because you lose touch. So I try to, me personally, I try to keep it around a three or a four on a scale from one to 10 of grip pressure. And that allows me to maintain the proper grip pressure throughout my whole stroke and never squeeze the putter, especially under pressure. So in this demonstration, I begin by setting up and starting with my grip pressure about a three or four. And I maintain that pressure throughout my stroke. So a good thing to practice is to learn what pressure you hold the putter with and try to keep that consistently all the time, no matter if it's a pressure putt or just a regular putt. So that's our tip for Golf 101. When Esto as PGA Tour Latino America returns, we will discuss the Total Play Cup and the way the tour will measure its players' performance across a new season. We will also take a look at the dates, tournaments, and countries joining our 2021-22 schedule. We'll be right back. Esto as PGA Tour Latino America. as PGA Tour Latino America. The 2021-22 PGA Tour Latino America is just around the corner, and it will mark the beginning of a new era, with the Total Play Cup as the centerpiece. The new season-long competition will definitely strengthen PGA Tour Latino America across the region. The tour's partner in this new venture is Total Play, a Grupo Salinas company from Mexico. Total Play is a total connectivity and entertainment platform with technology administered by direct to home fiber optics. En nuestro grupo hay una enorme pasión por el golf. Ricardo Salinas y Benjamín Salinas son enormes impulsores del deporte, llevan muchos años haciéndolo. Y bueno, pues consideramos importante hacerlo ahora con esta marca Total Play, que es una empresa innovadora que refleja el esfuerzo también. Y bueno, pues para nosotros es motivo de gran orgullo poder participar. Creemos que es un reporte que refleja enormes valores, este, la devoción, la lucha, el esfuerzo, la pasión. Y creemos que pues, es una cosa muy importante para apoyarlo eh, culturalmente para la sociedad y desde luego para el deporte. Y bueno, pues digamos que todo esto sea un éxito y que nuestros jugadores mexicanos también vayan poco a poco ganando sus espacios. Similar to the roles the FedEx Cup and the Charles Schwab Cup play for the PGA Tour and PGA Tour champions, respectively, the Total Play Cup will follow a points-based system to measure player success throughout the PGA Tour Latino America season. The Total Play Cup will allocate points to the 55 players and ties who make the cut at each event, with every tournament winner earning 500 Total Play points. The player holding the top spot at the conclusion of the season will be crowned the Total Play Cup champion. That player will also earn PGA Tour Latino America Player of the Year honors and full exempt status on the Corn Ferry Tour, where he will be only one step away from the PGA Tour. And uh, we're very excited to uh, launch the PGA Tour Latino America Total Play Cup for our 21-22 season. That we create a season long points race uh, to award the, the season winner and for us, it's a chance for them to play on the Corn Ferry Tour and you know, achieve their dreams of one day playing on the PGA Tour. So it's great to have a partner like Total Play uh, to make this happen. What Grupo Salinas has done with uh, the PGA Tour and golf in Mexico, uh, it's been a tremendous event here in Mexico City. Uh, the growth and stability of the game is very important. Um, and to partner with them who, you know, obviously from a commercial perspective, can help us grow the tour. Um, we've done so well inside the ropes, but you know we really want to grow the tour out, you know, outside the ropes, and this gives us that opportunity to do that. Uh, and we've seen the players who've come up through Mexico, like Carlos Ortiz, 
Abraham answer. Even on our tour, Alvaro played in the U.S. Open. Mexico has been always been very important to us and will continue to be more important moving forward. Joining the Total Play Cup winner, the other four players inside the Total Play Cup top five at the end of the season will also secure Corn Ferry Tour membership status for the following year. PGA Tour Latino America is preparing for its 10th season, one that will provide plenty of significant storylines from start to finish. The tour will kick off its season the first week of December at one of golf's oldest and most historic tournaments, the Visa Argentine Open presented by Macro in the city of Buenos Aires. Celebrating its 115th edition and awarding the winner a playing spot in the following year's Open Championship, the tournament will be played at the Jack Nicklaus Design Nor Delta Golf Club. Making it back-to-back -back national opens to start the season, the Argentina Open will be followed by the Scotia Wealth Management Chile Open, presented by Volvo, during the second week of December. Celebrating its 95th playing and joining the PGA Tour Latino America schedule for the sixth time, the tournament will be played at Club Sport Frances in the city of Santiago. The tour will then observe an eight-week break, with the season resuming halfway through 2022, with back-to-back -back tournaments in Mexico. The first of those events will take the tour back to Estrella del Mar Golf and Beach Resort, a familiar venue on the coast of Mazatlan that has hosted five PGA Tour America tournaments and several Q schools throughout the years. To be played February 24th to 27th, the other Mexico event will take the tour to a yet-to-be-determined site. Following a three-week break, the tour heads back south for another set of back-to-back -back tournaments in Argentina. On March 24th to the 27th, the Termas de Rio Hondo Invitational at Termas de Rio Hondo Golf Club in Santiago del Estero awaits the return of the tour players following a very successful inaugural season in 2019. The following week, with the third and final tournament of the season in Argentina, the schedule hits the halfway mark. Three weeks later, the tour begins a stretch of three tournaments in as many weeks in three different countries. First is a yet to be named event in Sao Paulo, Brazil, April 21st to the 24th. The Peru Open presented by Volvo at Los Incas Golf Club follows in Lima, Peru, April 28th to May 1st, with players then traveling to Quito, Ecuador for the Quito Open at Quito Tennis and Golf Club on May 5th to the 8th. The season continues in Colombia, a country that made it back onto the schedule earlier this year. Making it 11 tournaments for the season, the pair of consecutive tournaments in Colombia will be played during the first two weeks of June. The first will be held at El Rincón de Cajica, and the second at the Club Campestre de Bucaramanga. That season-ending event will take the tour's best players to Mexico for the second consecutive year. The PGA Tour Latino America Tour Championship will be a limited field event, as the Total Play Cup leading 60 players will be the only ones eligible to compete. After that event, a new class of PGA Tour Latino America alums, led by the Total Play Cup champion, will be headed to the Corn Ferry Tour. Next time on ESTO SPGA Tour Latino America, we travel to Riviera Nayarit, Mexico for the 2021 Dev Series Final. And tour member Ben Cook shares the experience of having wife Mia caddy for him in an official event. Thanks for watching. Come again. All this and more next month on ESTO SPGA Tour Latino America.